afternoon, I'm Mariah and this is Caroline and we are here with our weekly unboxing video. This is maybe the smallest box we've had in, oh, <laughs> time to get that. The smallest box we've had in quite some time, so we're going to zip right through it. Yeah, it's five minutes max. Yeah. First, very first one, are you ready? Yes. Okay, first one is The Flight Girls by Noelle Salazar. A novel inspired by real female pilots during World War II. Ooh, women walking away, women looking. Women walking fabulous. away. Yes, they look quite wow. sharp. Harry Turtle Dove, Alpha and Omega, the master of alternate history. Nice. And once again, no hint as to nope. what it might be about. Nope. Well, one of all history stalwarts. Fair enough. I need to know. Some Egyptian something. Ooh, a discovery in the Middle East that turns the world upside down. Fair enough. Some good nonfiction. The Bastard Brigade, the true story of the renegade scientists and spies who sabotage the Nazi atomic bomb by Sam Keen. Ooh. Sounds good. That sounds good. And well, there's pictures of them on the back. Yeah. Ooh. Brad Thor. Backlash. That'll have holes on it. Oh, hello, oh, Mr. Thor. Mr. Brad Thor. Looking so very, quite strapping yes, there. Yes, nice little pocket square. Mm -hmm. DVD, The Aftermath with Kira Knightley. There are only three more. Okay, so maybe under two minutes yeah. this one. Uh, Joka Alharfi, uh, Joka Alharfi, uh, Celestial Bodies. Originally imagined engaging in poetic insight into a society in transition and into lives previously obscured. Hmm, it's translated. So it uh, was translated by Marion Booth. Okay. Oh, the Nan Booker International Prize. Ooh, winner. cool. Cool. To say, of all the celestial bodies, the moon is the closest to the matters of this lower world. Ah. And let's see. Just those two. Just these two. Okay. Chuck Wendig, Wanderers, a novel. Oh, she's hefty. She's a big one, yeah. Lots of advanced praise from Publishers Weekly, Erin Morgenstern. Oh, wow, a true tour de force. Rollins. Holy moly. Oh a magnum gosh. opus. Lots, wow. Holy. It, what is, what is, I, I recognize Chuck Wendig's name. What, what has he written? I have no idea. Let's look at the back of the book yeah. info. Chuck, huh? bearded. He... Star Wars Aftermath, as well as the Miriam Black thrillers, the Atlanta Burns books, and Zeros and Invasive, alongside other works across comics, games, film, and more. Oh, is, is it sci-fi? Is he a sci-fi? He seems to be sci-fi, yeah. Okay, very nice. Looks good. And last one. A young adult fiction, uh, Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro's... Uh, and Cornelia Funk. Yeah, Pan's Labyrinth. The, the Labyrinth of the Fawn. Oh, what a great combo. Not quite graphic novel, but uh, some illustrations there. That's an interesting combo of authors. Fantastic. Yeah. There we go. Well, that That's was it. very short, very sweet, and um, try not to miss us too much. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.